gosh! Good! That's what happens. That's what happens. When you get a strong cup of coffee. Absolutely. And you haven't seen your Danish buddy for a week because he's been <laughs> gallivanting with other women. Well, yeah, other men, strictly other, speaking, other, in Italy. It was actually yeah. other men. It was actually other men. Yeah. 16 of them or something, apparently. Yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah, on the same time. <laughs> just all in one big, in one room all together. Whew, just playing, a, play our instruments. At least it's nice and cool in here. It's absolutely, yeah. it's like, I remember going to Greenland on a tour. This is kind of the same thing. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, absolutely yeah, not. It, yeah. Right. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Anderson's TV. Pete's been in Italy gallivanting. Uh, I've missed him and uh, he's <laughs> I back. I missed you. And he's, uh, he's got some tones. And I, and I brought some stuff, didn't I? Well, we've got some, somebody to bring some stuff in who's sitting right behind the camera over there. Our good friend, Matt. Our good friend, I mean, Matt. You might think that these are like really far behind us, but actually they're right here. Now, I mean, Matt sent a sneaky picture of a Katana Mini over uh, <laughs> recently and said, oh, can I bring these down for you on Monday and you can check them out? And there was no perspective in the picture. So we weren't sure whether we were going to see amps that were kind of this big or this big or whatever. And, you know, we've seen amps that are kind of like this big. So our first impression was a bit like, meh. Yeah. You know, it's like, how good can these realistically sound? They're minuscule. But he, but it was the first thing, first things first was like, tell me how much they are. Because if you're going to say these are like, you know, yeah, they're 250 pounds. It was a bit like, <laughs> oh no. But they're not. Yeah. They're not at all. They're not they're at 89 all. pounds. 89 pounds. 89 pounds. So really, this is positioning itself very much in that kind of battery operated, battery or mains operated, sub 100 pounds. Um, kind of like like a pro version of like a Marshall MS2 vibe you know like those kind of very small yes the ones you clip on your the ones yeah. you clip on there I reckon you can even because this, these weigh absolutely nothing at all yeah and they run on battery yeah which so, is another cool little thing um Boss Katana Mini hey now I love it I think what's kind of cool with this is you would think and I think in fairness this is what I think as well is that somebody from Boss or, or whoever it is just goes, yeah, we've got this cool brand called Boss and we've had loads of success with Katana range. It's awesome. I tell you what, just get that Chinese factory down the road that make those shitty little plastic amps for everybody else. Just whack <laughs> Boss on the front of one of those. We'll sell millions. It'll be cool. Yeah. And the kind of the nice thing with this is that that's obviously having talked to the chaps from Boss, that's kind of not, not really what they've It's done. not the case at all, is it? It's not the case at all. They've, they've really... They have genuinely voiced the preamps, the, the speakers are custom designed, the enclosure is ported in a certain way, the preamp has been voiced to try and get the best sound that they can out of, out of what is a very affordable, you know, very small battery powered, you know, nine volt kind of guitar. Amp. Yeah. Anyway, you heard I mean, us playing. Yeah. And, I think they sound and you good. heard the gains, the gain in here is all analog. It is. Yeah. The best is, kind of. That, uh, you that's know, what we want. The best kind of gain. <laughs> the best kind of gain. So you've um, got on the top here, this will run through the features gain, volume for the channel, bass, middle, treble, then you got time and level for the delay. So there's no reverb in there. Yeah. There's no effects, there's no fancy stereo one things speaker. going on. One yeah. speaker. And that's what I like. That's what I liked about. Well, so what I liked about the Katana was you just plugged it in and it sounded good. Yes. You didn't have to fiddle around I, and all There's a lot to be said for that kind of, can we just focus on getting like one decent sound yes. rather than like 20 average sounds? Yeah. Um, so look, why don't you, as Pete, our resident stellar guitar player, <laughs> uh, we have got some Straight pedals on the floor, but we're gonna, we're gonna switch them all off. Yeah, they're all off now. Uh, and let's just hear a G clean chord. tone with a G chord. <laughs> With a little bit of delay. Yeah, a little fine. bit of we'll delay. delay. So they're not loud. No, it's not loud at all. Relatively it's speaking, watts, right? yeah, it's and it's not like a valve seven watts where that's borderline no. kind of gigging volume. It's. Um, I was just thinking as Pete was playing that, if I'd raised my voice, I could have talked over what. Pete let's try doing. that, but let's try to hear what it sounds okay. like through the lapels okay. when, when I'm playing it. So now you're not going to hear these, you're just going to hear the lapel. Yeah. And you can, you can talk over yeah. it, right? Hey, Pete, did you have a nice time in Italy? Yeah, it was lovely. What was the best chord that you learned while you were there? Uh, this, uh... That's amazing. That's probably the best one I sort of played when I was down there. It's a there. great chord. Anyway, so that, you can kind of hear, it's pretty quiet. And that's with the volume pretty much maxed yeah. out. Um, 
that's what's called their clean sound. There's another, I think our favorite setting here is this crunch tone. And the reason I think we all like that is one of the nice things about the Katana gain circuit is that it is quite responsive to volume. So you, it, on its crunch mode, it'll go from nice clean by backing the volume down a little bit to fat, chunky. Mm. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? I, when I first heard that it wasn't going to have reverb, I was like, ah, you're yeah. never going to get a little amp sound any good with no reverb. But the delay has quite a subtle sort of reverby kind of... And that's why I played that, because that was Eric Gales. Yeah, that's, mm. that's Little Wing, but because he doesn't use any He doesn't reverb. use reverb, you're right. Exactly. No. And I think it's up to... I didn't used to use reverb 10 really? years ago. I didn't I'm have the other that. way. Yeah. I, I, I failed utterly naked I just went with no reverb. all off, and then you can do all the... <laughs> You can do all the funky stuff. I've got to show I mean, you. That's I'm just that's just the amp there. It sounds great. It's yeah. not loud at all. You know, you're not. It's not like you're going. Oh. So on my my one I, again, I've got a pretty similar. Set. In fact, Pete and I've gone from I've got a you got Pete's a little, got bit, a little more bit more bass. Yeah, Pete's got a little bit more mid range in As his tone than I have. Go pro. But I'm uh, so here's my basically no pedal sound. <laughs> But what I liked was if I put my trusty old EP boost in, I've got. Whole gamut of tones really without. Uh... I mean, so how much does one of these little things cost that you clip on your belt? Well, the really tiny, like the, little, the little Marshall one is like 30 pounds or something like that. It's yeah. like a third of the price of that. But yeah. you can buy, you know, there's other brands, I guess stuff like Black Star Fly would be somewhere in between those two. And that's got a few more effects Thingies. and bits and yeah. bobs in it. So we're not talking Bluetooth. We're not talking stereo. We're not talking. Yeah. It's, it's got an input for, for an aux in. It's got a headphone out, which also emulates a a speaker so you can yeah. use it to record with. It's kind of, it's absolutely following on from what I think has made Katana popular with so many people in the more expensive amps, is that it's like, it hasn't got all that other, you know, there's no app, absolutely. there's no Bluetooth, there's no Well, there is, no if you plug it in by a USB, you can get, there is an app where you can do stuff with it. As you saw but in the video. Not a, it's not like a wire. No, 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 app, it's not like it? you've yeah. got Bluetooth and you go on your, your app and all that stuff, you know. A lot of people switch off as soon as somebody goes, oh, there's an app for that, it's this amp. I'm like, you know, it gets, I, I just want to like to plug into it and just get a nice Right, let's tone. change to something with a slightly hotter pickup. Hot! And let's hot. go to its brown sound. It's like hot in here, it's hot. hot. It's getting hot in here, <laughs> so take off all your clothes. Oh no, you don't want to see that because I'm, I'm so pasty. <laughs> I've got, do you want to see a cool look? So this is, this is classic British barbecue man tan where it's relatively brown from here, but up here, it's still pasty white. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been in Italy for a week, and I'm still pretty pale because uh, I've been inside all teaching the guitar. time. So here is a brand new sound. And that was really nice. Thank you, everybody. If any of the guys watching this, I had a great time. It was really cool. This is. Actually, I don't know why I'm shouting because it's not that loud. This is the br <laughs> this is the brown sound. The brown sound. And I tell you what, I will do is I will I will go from like a quarter of the gain to all the gain as Pete's playing with okay. his uh, Van Halen inspired Absolutely. 335. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Pins the money. To oh, 
I wouldn't have said I it's. I wouldn't have said it's like a modern metal sound, is it? It's no. Like, it's like a high gain classic rock sound. But that, that's yeah. But you, you need a no, pedal. I to think do when you kind of when a lot of people, not a lot of people, no, don't misunderstand me. But some people misunderstand distortion because it could be too much. And then it just melts into something that you can't use, really. Well, if you're playing at home, you can afford to go. I mean, if, if you're playing at home, sorry, the only golden rule anyone. is if you like the sound, then are you right? It's right. Absolutely. It's Pete, what Pete's kind of saying is that in a professional environment, and you're playing in a band or whatever, or you're recording, then sometimes the sound that you like doesn't translate yes. great into recording. But hey, hey, I don't you suppose want to do many of those anyone. kind of guitar players are going to be going. Oh, cool! But you know what? Go, I'll sell I, my. I would, uh, I would, no, I'll sell my um, boogie dual rectifier <laughs> and get a, <laughs> one of these. But you know, if I had to go on tour again, I wish I had one of those in Italy. Actually, that would be really cool. Well, that that it's funny bathroom. that there is this whole new like amp category called the green room amp. I'd never even really oh, heard really? of it. Yeah, and it's this idea of, of going, the first guy I remember, Phil X, yeah. when he was touring, he would have a little Marshall MS2, and he'd, which he'd take everywhere, and he'd sit, you know, warming just up behind, like... you know, before they go <laughs> doing all that. So that, that's that kind of category of like the green room amp. So it's got to be battery powered, it's got to be really small, it's got yeah. to sound okay. Yeah. But so these are definitely in that like, they're home use, yeah. they're very portable. I think they're back. even like little busking kind of amplifiers if you really wanted it to. Not very loud. Yeah, but nobody, I don't think most people will hear you when you're sitting in the bus stop and... What would you play at a bus stop if you literally... Yeah. Uh, is it just blues? Like, I need to get on the bus. Yes. Today is gonna be the day. <laughs> I, think, hey, I think that's what you would play. But this is me backed off here. Oh, I'm a bit rusty. That's funny, isn't it? That was a... Uh, I've put it back then, on your favourite right, kind okay. of crunch Let's, setting. I'm just going to gain the whole thing up Ooh, there. Yeah. That's, that's just yeah, I, clean. I think it starts to do that thing that all kind of little solid state amps do. When everything's on max, I never think it's the best, best sound. It's I not too of, bad though. It's no, not it's still good. Bad as... How does it work with, you've got uh, a drive, like a Boss OD1X yeah. on the floor. <laughs> At all. Ooh, I just fat. thought I, I thought yeah I wasn't playing an expensive enough guitar in the last <laughs> so I thought I'd play an even more an appropriate. <laughs>
one i think that sounds you know what not bad actually do you know i did the entire I just went full up on i the... did my entire demo there on my particular amp without changing i just did the whole thing on the crunch sound with an ep booster pedal yeah ah look man i mean there is a little bit of me that goes what do you expect for 89 pounds and then there's a little said, bit of me that goes actually do you know what you expect quite a bit now 89 quid it's man quite that's good. a lot of cars cost 89 quid to fill up or oh, to fill up i was going to say no, it costs 89 quid. Well, my car does. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's another thing. I know. You could fill a car up for 89 quid. There you go. Anyway, right, we could go on about random things that 89 pounds buys you. But there we go. <laughs> anyway, bye. See you later. See ya. It's on the mini. Check it out. Check it out. Links below. Subscribe. <laughs> Everything. Just do it all. But there we go. <laughs>